Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephanie Falk. And today I wanna to talk about five tips for healthcare workers and first responders, those of you in the front lines battling COVID-19 on all of our behalf. I think that many of us are really spared the day-to-day -day intricacies, the, the disasters, the devastations that, that you're faced with. And so I'm very appreciative. And me providing this video is honestly kind of my way to say thank you and to give back a little bit. I, what we know about being in the middle of, of really difficult disaster situations is that it really can impact our emotional well-being and our mental health. Um, and a, a percentage as well might even develop symptoms of PTSD. And, and I certainly am not naive to the fact that you've dealt with really difficult situations previously. You've dealt with infectious disease. You've, you've dealt with emergencies. You've dealt with grief and loss. But I do think that this is an incredibly unique situation in terms of being a global pandemic. And so the five tips that I want to go over today are really looking at your coping toolkit, relying on peers, having realistic expectations, walking through disastrous situations, and leaning into people that are, are really supportive for you. So the first one, coping. What can you do? You can kind of take a step back and look at your coping toolkit. Do you have tried and tested coping techniques that you feel really, really good falling back on? That might be imagery. It might be self-affirmation, it might be yoga, it might be uh, calling a friend. But just kind of reflect on what your toolkit is and if it needs to be bolstered a little bit, well then um, maybe a little bit of psychoeducation or trying out some new coping skills. Tip number two is to really rely on your peer connections. It's important to have space to talk about the day in and day outs of what you're, you're dealing with as a team and to talk about your expectations, your wins, your losses, and, and kind of a shared vision of why you're doing what you're doing. I think that your peers can probably be the most supportive people given this, this difficult situation. Number three, have realistic expectations. And I think that's a really difficult thing to, to do sometimes because I think that just as human beings and as healthcare professionals as well, I think that we believe if I do a really good job at my job, then I'm gonna have a favorable outcome. And what we know in healthcare is that sometimes we can do a really great job but the outcome is not favorable and we end up losing a patient. So I think it's important to kind of give ourselves a little bit of a reality check around our expectations. Number four, do a walkthrough. If you anticipate a really negative outcome or that disaster situation in terms of losing a critically ill patient, I think it's important to consider what might this feel like? What might this be like if this transpires and this patient does, does end up passing away? In that sense, it allows us to have a little bit of anticipatory grief. And what we know about anticipatory grief is it helps us actually in that grieving process and it shortens it, our experience of distress related to the loss. Tip number five is to lean into and to lean onto those people that really matter to you. I, I think it's important to identify who your core people of support are, and that might be friends and family members. Sometimes it's, it's going to take you navigating and, and telling them directly how to best show up for you. Maybe that's an extra hug. Maybe that's time to, to vent about the things that you've experienced. Maybe that's actually asking for some space so that you can do some processing alone. But I think you're gonna have to kind of lead them into how to best show up. Other people that you might lean on for support, perhaps a religious leader, a chaplain at your hospital, maybe a mental health worker, a counselor, a therapist. I, I really wanna say thank you for all of the the difficult situations that you're that you're facing with such courage and competency. I, I appreciate what you're doing on behalf of all of us in, in working in the front lines and, and in the trenches day in and day out. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope that it's been helpful. And just to reiterate those coping skills or, or those tips related to really helping to support your emotional well-being right now, that would be take a hard look at your coping toolkit and, and beef it up if you need to. Rely on your peers. Have realistic expectations do a walkthrough in a disaster situation and lean into or onto those people that really matter. I hope that this finds you having a really good day despite our difficult situ situation that, that we're all faced with right now. And again, thank you so much for what you do.